we'll see how this goes, but, uh, well, quite a while ago I found these, uh, brand new set of half nuts for the Atlas lathe on uh, eBay, and I picked them up, and they're, they weren't cheap, I think these things were like 55 or $60, uh, you could probably still get them, I'm sure they're made new now, uh, I don't think they're new old stock or anything weird like that, but, uh, I found a set of, uh, factory instructions on how to replace the half nut. There's a couple of things on here that uh, might not have been obvious. So anyway, I think I got all the tools there. Let's see if we can make this happen and get this thing actually cut in threads again. Alright, well, step one. Oh, it's already loose here. Step one is to uh, loosen the tailstock and slide it off of the lathe. So that's easy enough. Get this guy out of the way here. All right. Step two: move carriage assembly to the center of bed. So one of those is center of bed. Uh, remove screws from lead screw bearing. And that's back here. Make sure you guys are in frame. You can see it. I don't know if you can really see the lead screw bearing here, but it's right here. Get the wrench already. So there's two screws here to hold this on. split nut lever and turn hand wheel clockwise drawing the lead screw out of the gearbox so that should slide it right out of here move it around again all right so that should lock the lead screw although it's not really working anyway so i don't know says to swing the, the thread chasing dial out of the way. That's already out of the way. Pull the lead screw to the right and out of apron. I spent quite a lot of time cleaning this thing all up earlier. Still isn't perfect. It's got you know, 60 some odd years of grime built up on it. Split nut is exposed. So the split nut's right back here. So we gotta crank this thing over here where it's exposed up the back side. And I'm pretty certain you're not gonna be able to see any of this. I might see if I can oh, I'm off the table. Alright. See if I can set this up a little bit different so that maybe you guys stand a chance of being able to see what's going on. Alright, I hope we can see what's going on here, because I can't tell if you can. Uh, anyway, let's see, where are we at now? <clears throat> okay, slide the carriage off the end. Okay, we got that. So, loosen the spring tension. I suppose I should have showed you this before we 
move the camera, but I will I'll show you where that is in a minute. It's right here on the front. It's just a little little set screw that goes in there. There's a there's a spring and a ball detent in here. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can if I can pull that stuff out from this side. Well, I sure don't want to lose my little little detent ball. I think it's just an eighth inch ball bearing. It's probably something I could find at the hardware store, but no, of course it don't want to come out. But all right, well, so put that back in, I guess. Okay, so we loosen that. Next thing, there's two screws here on the front, and they're, they're at a diagonal opposite the center line of the lever. That's what holds the uh, little assembly back here on. So we loosen. Yeah, okay, so let's remove these screws. this off to pry it off but it's it's pretty loose already okay what's next pry split nut assembly from the eight pound Should be a spring here somewhere, which is hiding. Back this out, see if I can. I'm gonna stick this guy here. It's a magnet right there, so that it don't get lost. I'm going to go ahead and put you back up on the tripod here. Next step is disassembling this, but this is the half note assembly right here. And let me tell you what, these ones are worn out. Really, really worn out. There's really no threads left at all on this side here. So, somebody did a lot of damage on that. Alright, we'll set you back up. got you set up a little bit better okay these are the, the studs right here so the next step it says to remove these they're just screwed in I've had this all apart once before when I first got the, the machine I tore it all down and cleaned everything out it was really grimy all kinds of stuff. Okay, let me get them guys there out. Well, just look how poorly worn these things are. I mean, it's it almost looks like a buttress thread. It's worn way more on the on one side than the other. Uh, no doubt, like uh, the direction it would be cutting towards the headstock. You know, you're usually going that way. This one here, like there's just gone. I mean, it's, there's hardly nothing left there. All right. Well, in comparison, these ones here are really nice. You can see how, here, let's see if we can get one up. There. You can see how, how much worn those threads are. I bet you worn three thirty seconds of that thread off of there. Alright, that's a new one. 
That's a new one. Those old ones can go in the junk pile, I guess. Alright, let's see what the next thing is. Okay, this does clean and oil the guide. Okay, that makes sense. The guide's not too dirty, but there's a little bit of stuff going on there. This is pretty clean. I love this little brush. This was an attachment, I think, that went onto a vacuum, but it's it's got really stiff bristles. It's good for getting in all the little nooks and crannies around here on the on all these machines. Very handy. This here, I think I, I just got like regular 30 weight oil in here. Uh, I know on all the Chinese machines, this is a very common thing. I don't, I don't know. I just haven't bought any whey oil, which would probably be a better choice for this, but. surface of wares. Alright. Okay. Alright, remove all burrs, clean and oil. This will hang on there though. With a file, bevel edges of split butt as shown in figure four. Okay. So these things, they're die cast. And right here, where where the threads end out, that's a parting surface, and you can actually feel there's a little tiny burr right there. Uh, but they're just they're just showing to chamfer it just a little bit. So we can get this here, get a nice fine file. I think that the factory could just do this for you, but. Why would they do that when they could have you do it, I guess, huh? That's got rid of them birds. This stuff is uh, Zamac, just like the change gears they use. Just like they use for the change gears. A lot of the casting stuff in this machine are made out of this material. Uh, a lot of people think it's pot metal and it's garbage, but... Uh, you know, uh, you know my gears. This is a 1957 machine, and uh, it's uh, what 15, two more years. Will be, geez, 60, 60 years. And they're they're worn, but uh, that's a pretty good run for something that most people think is garbage. So, all right, that cleaned up pretty nice. A really ugly burr back here I'm gonna get rid of. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice though. Where's that same burr? Part of it looks like some flash from the parting when they when they cast this stuff. Can't hurt to get that off of there. Alright, that one's all dressed. And they're not saying to do very much. Like I said, I think pretty much it's just so it has a little bit easier lead in to the uh, threads in the screw.
Okay, step 15. Remove all burrs, clean and oil split nut, and slide nuts into the guide. Okay. Make sure we ain't got no burrs. Some burr right there. to have a little too much oil on it. Step 16, insert studs. All right, there's my studs. And these go right into these holes. I guess this is what keeps these things from falling out. In the midst of operation. weren't in there super tight. I don't want them to fall out, but I don't know if they can. They're probably kind of captive inside of this little recess here. There's another piece that fits in here and turns, and that what what actuates them. Alright. Step 17. Pack hole H with grease and insert steel ball. Okay. Give me just a minute, let me go find some grease. Alright, I found some Molly lithium grease here. This is like chassis grease, which should be fine for this sort of application. 
And I got a toothpick out of the house. And get a little dollop of this stuff on there. Oops, turn it upside down. So this is the spot we're supposed to pack with grease. Sorry about that, my father-in-law came by just as I was trying to get this all put together. Anyway, so we've got the ball bearing in there. Uh, it's a pack hole. It's hold on. Okay, hold, hold splitting up assembly in position and insert screw E and tighten. Okay, so now we're going to put it back onto the, onto the back side of the apron. So I'm going to move you over. Alright, here we go. So we gotta put this, and these pins gotta go into the scroll, which sits on the opposite end of this shaft, and that's what that's what moves these things in and out. It's kind of a camming type mechanism. Easier said than done. two screws I removed earlier to get this thing off. Good. Okay, let's see what the next step is. Okay, it doesn't say anything about putting the screw back in and means or the excuse me, the spring. But uh Oops, I need my set screw. There we are. That spring's got to go in there, and that'll push on the the detent. I'm supposed to tighten it up until you hear a distinct snap. If I recall, it this thing had to be in there quite a ways. And I see, I don't hear nothing there yet. Hear the pop now? That's that's working like it should. Alright. Okay, raise lever. Move the 
the carriage to the center of the bed. All right. Let's back you up so you can see what's going on now. Okay. So we got to be kind of careful here. We got a screw here. Unless we get lucky, if uh, oops, got to time these gears into the rack that's on the bed. There we go. All right. You have to slide it out far enough that you're off the rack. Actually. carriage to center bed. We just did that. Clean and oil the lead screw. I think we'll oil the lead screw once we get it on here. We've already cleaned it. Clean and oil the lead screw and insert screw into apron and gear box, making sure key and apron bevel gear and key and gear box are lined up with key and My bevel gear in here does not ha seem to have a key in it, so that's, I suppose, a repair for another day. So, in the meantime, I'm going to slide this guy in. Alright, so that's in the, slides into the, they're calling it the gear box, but I don't have the quick change with it sliding into the right place. I mean, it's locked in the keyway. I suppose we can put a little oil on that piece and we'll just stick it in there. Huh? Dirt on there. Little oil on these parts never hurt nothing. thing here flipped up first. A lot of little pieces you gotta get all lined up first, huh? screw bearing. Put them in here. Get them started. lower lever. This will position the lead screw bearing correctly. So see this is one of those things that probably not so obvious. You want to grab the half nut around the shaft and that'll make sure that this is all lined up good. Okay. Just for good measure I'm gonna loosen that a little. It's all moved. So now we tighten her up. Up. Need to kill.
kill this stuff. It's not supposed to be that tough. It's just holding up that little big screen. It only weighs a pound or so. Okay. Position the threading dial and secure. Well, we're going to skip that for right now. Clean the lathe bed ways. Bottom of tailstock assembly. Okay. This guy here back over there. Put oil on there, spread it on the leaves. Really nice. remember ever really using 11 sixteenths very often but for some reason they made 11 sixteenths a really common size on this, this machine I guess they figured you wouldn't need it for your regular toolkit or something maybe all right place the tailstock on bed oiled bed move the tailstock back and forth then position the tailstock this is clean and oil wipers well, we don't have wipers on this. We got two. We're missing a couple. If anybody's got any spare wipers for the for the carriage, I need a couple of them. You always see them see them in fours. All right. Well, let's see if we're in business here. Huh? Move this out of the way. All right. Here we go. power. Alright, need to oil this thing up, but other than that, looks like uh, another successful repair. Boy, I should have done this months and months and months ago. But, uh, anyway, that's it for those ones there. They're shot. Alrighty, that's one more repair done to this boy.